Okay, guys, so today I have for you uh, Avengers number five, and um, man, this book was epic. It was so good, and like there was lots of things happening. I, I didn't actually like, know what was happening some of the time. I had to reread it actually twice. So let's hop in. Um, when we start off, we have some Spider-Man dialogue with some Spider-Woman in the present. Um, it's kind of funny. It's just like, you have one of those days? And then she's like, sure. And then like, I met the ones where you might know if you're going to mess up your costume. <laughs> she's like, oh, I know what you mean. So, I don't know, it's funny how it uh, brings about the realism of, like, heroes being in weird situations. Like, I would be freaked out, too. Um, we have some more Hawkeye and Marie Hill. Something about my complaint in this issue, or one of my few, two, commit, like, two complaints, actually, in this issue is you can't really tell if she's man or woman in here. And so I think that sometimes, because this art's kind of blocky with the faces and stuff, that um, you don't know if some of the women, women with short hair are men or women, but you don't. Um, anyways, there's a lot of crazy things going on, and then you see Thor flash off here, a little, after a little Spidey talk. It's going after Galactus. I mean, like, just look at the art here, like, it speaks for itself, right? Um, and then you have Tony Stark with Captain America and Novar and Wolverine waking up after the last issue. Spoilers if you haven't read number four, but you should have, because it's good. Um, yeah, he's waking up, and then there's an old Tony Stark kind of giving him, like, sly looks. Uh, they talk about time stream and stuff, and how uh, Tony, young Tony doesn't like it, but old Tony's used to it. Um, how everything's messed up, and Maestro pops in. I don't really know a lot about him. Um, and then they're kind of Kane. They tell him how they sent Kane, and they kind of have a, a polite, uh, an uneasy alliance. So they're kind of working together, but yeah, it's happening, and then. Meister freaks out on Kang, and um, yeah, it's crazy. This is just really, really well done. And then this is something that got me talking, or got me thinking. And um, I know on Comic Con they had a few things about this and how this whole Marvel universe mapped out. And so there could be hints in future storylines here um, because it's here. It starts with Siege, and then it says Horror Game begins. Hope returns. Uh, three, which is happening in Fantastic Four. Uh, the new Man Without Fear, which is happening in the new Black Panther book. Um, Academy Trader, which might be Avengers Academy something. Maybe with Giant Man entering back in December. Um, Master Kung Fu, which is happening in Secret Avengers next issue. So it's just kind of mapping out. And maybe this is going to happen, all of this. Maybe not. You don't know. There's something like this Ultimate War and yesterday's X Men. So maybe things will happen. Maybe they won't. I'm excited to keep going. And because it says the time stream is folding again. There's all this craziness. Um, Thor gets hit by Galactus, and it just comes down. And man, this issue is so good. Um, more craziness. And then you have this, which is from a few issues back. I think it was like maybe issue two or three. Um, so it looks like they fla flashed back about three or four hours in their time, a few months in our time. Um, and then only the people who are in the future kind of understood this, while the people in the present were kind of what is happening here. So Maria is kind of a loop, so it's Hawkeye. Um, and then they're kind of figuring out what's going on, and then Marie Hill's reiterating the plans which she had earlier, which breaks into two teams. Um, and then you see the, the future team here, and um, Novar and Iron Man are talking, and then they do it, and then you um, see them talking to someone else you can't see, and I'm not going to spoil it. I know I've been doing a lot of spoilers, but I'm not going to spoil this one, and um, it's a huge character. Some you wouldn't expect, and so, um, yeah, I'm not gonna spoil it because I freaked out a little bit, and I'm not really big that big of. I used, I'm just new to Avengers, and so I don't know a lot about this character, but they're predominant Avengers character. That's all I'll say. Um, yeah, five out of five, great issue. Go check it out. Uh, totally worth the price, and what's going on here? Um, just for that big splash page alone, I think we should take another look at it because it was so epic. Um, it's just a reason to pick it up. So, right here, you know, pick it up for this because you can kind of decipher what you think it's going to happen. What? It's just good. Check it out. Avengers number five, five out of five for me.